Be your guide. Or, uh, do you happen to own those two birds there? Yeah. Would you like to make a small bet? What have you got to put up on that? Well, you have your choice of the Empire State Building or Radio City. That's a bet. Is that a go? Sure. Well, watch your happy pump slap happy. <laughs> Never. That means one of them birds belongs to me. Does old time good to you? <laughs> Boy, because I'm going to get you. <laughs> that means the other bird is not in my possession. Wait a minute, brother. I don't want to get you out of your delirium, but I've lived in Harlem and Sugar Hill for 25 years. Don't pull none of that jive on me. So you is a hip cat. You has your boots on. Why don't somebody tell me these things? See? Get ready to do you do it. Because y'all have got some new territory to cover. Y'all scared of dead folks? No, of course not. Plenty of dubbies around here. We're never scared. Plenty who around here? Dubbies. Dubbies. Dead people. Spirits. Yeah? Hello, boy. What's your name? Why, my name is Percy Jackson. How did you know I was from Harlem? I can tell by those sharp clothes you're wearing that you're from Harlem. <laughs> well, look -a here. I done find me a hip chick on the island. What are you doing here? Why, I'm Miss Walton's house man. Which Miss Walton? Why, Miss Sylvia Walton, of course. We came down from the States about two weeks ago to take over the banana plantation that the father left her when he died. That's the only one Miss Walton down here. That's Miss Isabel. She's been running the plantation for years, ever since Miss Sylvia and her father went to the States. Well, I don't know nothing about that. Miss Sylvia runs it now, and we ain't seen Miss Isabel around since we've been here. Of course she hasn't. Miss Isabel is plenty mad. 
What's that noise? Duppies. Hmm? And they're not after me. They are looking for you. They don't like strangers. Well, what do they want with me for? I ain't done nothing to them. They are wicked, Duppies. They want your soul. Want who's soul? They ain't gonna get my soul. No, honey, no. How are you going to stop them? Why, gal, I got plenty of charm. They won't stop service. No. Only Miss Isabel can do that. Well, how can she stop them? Miss Isabel, no lot. She's Miss Sylvia's stepsister. Her mother was Haitian. Well, come on, let's find Miss Isabel quick, or them duffers is coming fast. Wait, not that way. Sylvia, before you left for the States, it was well uh, sort of understood that we would be married. That was puppy love, John. A boy and girl infatuation. I thought you'd be cured by now. I've been gone a long time. But I haven't changed. I'm only sorry that it took your father's death to bring you back here. Poor father. He was so bent on having Isabel and me properly educated. He was so sure New York could afford us better opportunity. Now here I am back again. Culture and all. You know, Sylvia, you could love me if you weren't so infatuated with Philip Ramsey. Surely you don't love him. Because I've known him for only a few weeks, or because he's my overseer? No, because I don't trust him. Why, you know nothing whatsoever about him. If I didn't trust him, I wouldn't let him have full charge of the plantation. All right, have it your own way. But I'm not going to give up. I'll prove him for what he really is. And sooner or later, he'll show his true colors. You're being ridiculous, John. Drive me to the dock. I want to see how the shipment is going. Come on, boys. Come on, step along now. Get the moving, boys. Get the moving. Would you mind coming in with me for a few minutes? Okay. Come on, let's get this cleaned up. Hello, Philip. How's the work going? Splendid. It's our best shipment up to date. Well, by the way, that lugger captain paid cash for those bananas this morning. The money's in the safe. You can bank it this afternoon. Well, we'll have to wait until tomorrow. How's your work getting along, Logan? All right. Why? Oh, nothing much. Any of your hands been acting up lately? What do you mean? Any rumors of obia activity? Of course not. Hey, what are you trying to do? Scare Sylvia? Naturally not. But there's something going on, and I can't put my finger on it. Listen. Let's change drums at this time of day. I tell you, John, they are different from what they used to be. I think you're right, Sylvia. They sound strange to me. You know better than that, Ramsey. They aren't any different. It's your imagination. Well, shall we go, Sylvia? Yes. Well, look, the men have all disappeared. Say, that's funny. They never did anything like that before. You suppose it could be the drums? Well, you've got me there, Ramsey. It could be. But it's not for any obia reasons, and I'll guarantee you that. Come on, Sylvia, before Ramsey makes you think that there are witches out there in the hills riding on broomsticks. All right. Have it your way, but I don't like it. I'm going to have a look about and find out what's happened. And don't you forget our engagement at the garden party tomorrow afternoon. I have a surprise for you. A surprise? You intrigue me. But I'm glad we're going. It'll help me forget all this. See you later. Miss Isabel! Miss Isabel! This is Miss Isabel. 
her home. Look, there she is now. Lead me to her, quick. Good morning, Miss Isabel. This is Mr. Percy Jackson, the house man at the great house with Miss Sylvia. This is interesting. You came from New York? Yes, ma'am. I've been up in New York with Miss Sylvia a long time. I ain't used to these things that goes on down here in these here banana jungles. <laughs> of course not. And I don't suppose Miss Sylvia is either. No, ma'am. Miss Sylvia says that this country makes her very jittery. She's afraid of us down here, is that it? Well, yes, ma'am and no, ma'am. I guess she's been up in New York so long because she don't understand the folks down here anymore. I don't doubt it. Was there some particular reason why you brought Mr. Jackson to see me? Yes, Miss Isabel. The devil was chasing him. And I told him maybe you could fix up his soul in a little pig, and then those brothers would leave him alone. My soul in the pig? No, no. They ain't gonna put my soul in no pig. Well, if you'd rather let them have it. Well, you I... better have to do as Miss Isabel said. They'll find you sure. Well, all right, just as you say. But this show sure ain't no place for a law by Harlem citizen. You go around to the other side of the house and bring me one of the little pigs there. Yes, sir. You've done well, Elvira. I only hope Miss Sylvia is superstitious. If our ovary trickery is successful, she may go back to New York, and then I'll have the plantation back again. I hope so, Miss Isabel. We want you to run the plantation, not Miss Sylvia. Mm -hmm. and bring me a bowl of meal and dampen it a little. Mr. Percy, first I must warn you about one thing. Your soul will be in the meal fed to that pig. If you lose him, you will have difficulty in getting your soul back. So don't let anything happen to him. No, ma'am, I ain't gonna let nothing happen to this here little baby. Mr. Percy Jackson, I command you to kneel before me. Yes, sir. Oh, benevolent one, come to my aid by the sacred horns of the white goat, by the warm blood of the sacrificial dove. I command that this man's soul seek the protection I am offering through the agency of this meal and little pig. Open up the gate, so great one, and let his spirit pass within my hands. Let it pass within this meal and remain content. It is done. Rest secure that the evil spirits cannot test you. Peace, glory, hallelujah. Ain't no devils in town can catch me now. Miss Isabella, I do not know how to thank you for what you've done. You can show your gratitude by not mentioning this little incident to anybody. It's just between us three. Now hurry back to the great house and the pig can eat as you walk along. Yes, ma'am. It must seem strange after New York. But you'll get used to it in time. I hope so. Even the drums at night and day sound different. And I know it's only native dance music back in the hills, but they don't sound friendly anymore. They sound, well, menacing. <laughs> you haven't been listening to those jungle fairy stories, have you? Obia and all that sort of nonsense? No. But Philip has hinted that strain action of the plantation hands might be due to something like that. They resent me, you know. 
Oh, Ramsey's a fool, and you're only imagining things. They may feel that Isabel wasn't treated right, but that's not your fault. She was looked up to as the rightful owner while you were away. They don't take the sudden changes. I know it's been hard on her losing everything. But that's no reason for her to disappear the moment she got word about the will. You've tried to find her. We all have. I'd like her to know that she could go on running the place. I'll share with her. Give her time. I know that girl. Why, she's uncannily smart and as proud as a peacock. She'll show up when she's good and ready. You must have seen a lot of her since about two plantations adjoining. Yes. How is it you never fell in love with her? Oh, now look, Sylvia. Now, don't misunderstand me. Isabel's a swell girl. I think the world of her. But she's not you. You're the one that I'm in love with. Listen, you ain't just a little pig anymore. You has got sense now. You is an animal with a soul. So you cut out interfering with my pleasure and just mind your own business. Maybe that's your soul reminding you of some girl in Harlem. Well, baby, I did have some gals up in Harlem, but I ain't got none up there now. Not since I met my sweet little Isle of Jamaica queen. I'm telling you that, honey. You coming to see me soon? Am I coming to see you? I'm practically there now, baby. Don't forget now. I ain't gonna forget. Well, here we are back home. How'd you enjoy the drive? It was lovely. What's that coming out of the pair? My, but you're nervous. What's the matter this time? Oh, it's only Jackson. Yes, he's nothing to get upset about. You know, he doesn't get acclimated very easily. He's still got Harlem written all over. Hasn't he? He'll get used to it. Sure. What have you there, Jackson? It's just a little pig, Miss Sylvia. So, you haven't forgotten my favorite dish. Your favorite dish, ma'am? Yes, roast pig. Well, this here ain't no ordinary pig. Oh, I agree with you, Jackson. Where did you ever find him? He's positively luscious. Well, I, I didn't find him. You know, he's a little sick. I, I'm taking care of him. Who gave him to you? The bush gal over yonder. Oh, up to your old tricks again. Well, he looks just right to me. So you tell Cook we'll have him for dinner tomorrow night. And, John, you must join me. You have no idea what that cook of mine can do to a roasting pig. Well, I'd love that, Sylvia. Thanks. Well, look here, Miss Sylvia. Ain't it kind of hot for roast pig? Do as you're told, Jackson. Go tell the cook. Miss Sylvia, but this, this here ain't no ordinary pig, Miss Sylvia. Y'all don't understand. This ain't no ordinary pig. Come on, please. Well, I don't know, but if you ask me, the lad's a bit funny. No, I don't think so. But I'll wager there's some sort of sentiment connected with that pig, and he doesn't want to part with it. Well, don't you go getting sentimental, too, for I'll be looking forward to that dinner no end. Well, so long, Sylvia. See you tomorrow. And don't worry about anything, honey. So long, John. Now, yo, you wait a minute, little pig. You hide right in here till I get another little pig, because you ain't no ordinary pig. Little piggy, you have got a soul. Maybe you've got two souls, yours and mine. And remember, roast pig is roast pig. So be careful, little piggy. Now, my pig. Well, Jackson, Don't forget, Ramsey, I know everything you've been doing. 
I know all about your feelings for Sylvia, too. You wouldn't want her or the police to find out about that, would you? No. And I don't understand how you found out about it, either. But when I find out who your stool pigeon is, I'll... Br You'll do nothing. I'm running this show. Now, you understand about this Obia business, don't you? I'm going to put that sweet society sister of mine in the Obia sacrifice scene that's going to make her so scared that she'll leave this island and never come back. And when she's gone, I can assume my rightful place again. And if the police find out about it, what then? They won't stand for that sort of thing. You know that. I'll take care of that. You do your part and keep your mouth shut. All right. I only hope you know what you're doing. Now, just what part do I play in this melodrama? I don't care how you do it, but you bring Sylvia here tomorrow afternoon. I'll do the rest. We were going to a garden party. I'll bring her from there. Good. That'll give me plenty of time to get set. How do you think Sylvia's going to be affected by your obia? You can't really do anything like that. I know I can't. I'm going to give her some wine with some native herb in it. I've got it all fixed. A couple of swallows, and she will be in a semi-trance. She will know everything that's going on, but she will be powerless to move with speak. And uh, if you get the opportunity between now and then, work on her nerves. She's very superstitious. And you know, I told you about Jackson and his pig. I want her to believe everything I'm going to do. Now get out of here. I've got work to do. And don't worry if your workers suddenly drop what they're doing and slip away. The drums will be calling them to a rehearsal. All right. But go easy, will you? I'm not going to harm Sylvia, if that's what you mean. Now, listen, I want to warn you about something else. Stop trying to make her believe that you're in love with her, because I'm on to your little game, see? How do you do, Mr. Ramsey? Well, 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 what have we for dinner this noon? Roast steak, sir. A special treat right from Harlem. <laughs> A rather soulful dish, I should say, shouldn't you? I should, sir. I followed your instruction to the letter. Good. Uh, no one saw the transaction. No, sir. Then what are we waiting for? A nice large helping. I'm hungry. <laughs> I wish Loden wouldn't make it so apparent that he hates me. Just because he's jealous of me is no reason for him to be high. Now, don't stop. I've had enough. You could stop it easily enough if you wouldn't keep putting me on. If you love me, why don't you marry me? But are you sure you love me, sir? It isn't a plantation. The plantation means a great deal to me. You know that. But that's beside the question. Still, without you, nothing means anything. I'd like to think that, sir. Makes me very happy. Who's been telling you differently, Loden? Let's leave him out of it, please. Unfortunately, we can't. He's had the advantage of having known you all his life. I've known you only a few weeks. That has nothing to do with it. John's my best friend. I like him as a friend. You're more to me than that. You're the one I love. All right. Then prove it. Let's get married at once. Today. If you love me, why do you hesitate? I don't know, sir. So be a good boy, please. And let's not talk about it anymore today. And I'll give you my answer tomorrow. That'll be too late. Too late? What do you mean? Nothing. Let's forget it. Phil, I'm sorry. Garden 
What is it? I never did like teas anyway. Phil, I thought you said you had a surprise for me. I do. It means a great deal to you to see your sister present. Phil, don't tell me you've seen her. Yes. Why has she waited so long? I'm sure I don't know. Whatever the reason, I'm to bring you to her today. And why didn't you tell me earlier? Well, for one thing, I wanted to find out how I stood. You know how you stand. And you've made me very happy. Let's go. I can't wait to see you. Sylvia. Yes, sir? Nothing. Let's go. where Isabel told me she'd meet you. Why, what's the matter? Nothing. Only suddenly I feel frightened and creepy. Maybe it's those drums. You wait for me, won't you? Why, certainly. Here comes Isabel now. I'll wait for you at the car. Isabel. Isabel. It's been a long time. Yes, Sylvia, it has been a long time. Why weren't you home when I arrived? And why haven't I seen you since? You know, we've been looking for you. I knew that you had been looking for me. But I wouldn't have gained anything by staying. The property is yours. Not by any moral right, but by right of law. But I would have shared with you. I will now. There's no question of your right to equal ownership. Now, don't accept charity. After all, I'm just as much my father's daughter as you are. Even though we did have different mothers. He never forgave me for staying here. He hated me. Please, Isabel. I'm just as sorry about all this as you are. But how can I help you if you won't let me? It can all be settled in a friendly way. Your part of the state is waiting for you. After all, I don't accept halfway measures. I want all or nothing and everything I undertake. Isabel, you don't know what you're saying. Oh, yes, I do know what I'm saying. But I am forgetting the manners our dear father went to such pains to teach us. Won't you come with me and let me give you a drink? You look all in. beautiful place you have here. I like it. Thank you. The shock of seeing you for the first time has rather upset me. Those drums, they never bothered me before. But today... But today they are different. I told him to go. You're my guest. Isabel, please. Don't look at me like that. It's almost as if you hated me. And if I do? But you can. You're my sister. Oh, yes, I can. You've had your way. Now I'm going to have mine. You've taken everything from me. All but one thing. And that I refuse to let you have. But I don't understand. What have I that I haven't already offered you? The love of John Logan the love of... But, Isabel, I don't love him. I have no claim on him. Oh, yes, you have a claim on him as long as he loves you. And as long as you stay here, he will continue to love you. Well, what can I do? I haven't given him any encouragement. You can go back to New York where you belong. No, I can't do that. You think it is because you love Ramsey that you want to stay. Are you sure that deep down in your heart that it's not because you love John Lowden? Yes, I am sure. All right. You stick to Ramsey and I wish you luck. But you leave John Loden alone. You love him that much? Yes. I love him so much that it hurts. I've loved him ever since I was a little girl. But he would never look at me while you were around. Now you've come back and spoiled all my plans. I was going to be a great lady. Head of my own plantation. I would have made it the greatest on the island. And I would have married John Loden. Now you've wrecked all that. But this isn't in yet. No, not for me. Do you hear those drums? Yes. And I don't like them. They frighten me. Please, Isabel, make them stop. They won't stop unless you agree to go back to New York. Have you forgotten that my mother was Haitian? 
You mean those drums are obia? Yes, obia. And you're going with me out there in the jungle by the mountainside. I'm going to make you leave this island. Do you understand? Leave this island? Oh, no. No, not that. Clark! Yes, sir? Go in and pack my things. I'm getting out of here. But first, I'm going into town to see the police. They can't get away with this, not with me. The police? What for, sir? What for? Listen to those drums. this morning. Well, where is that, brother? That pig belongs to me. I am terribly sorry. I didn't know he belonged to you. Mr. Ramsey had it for dinner this noon. What? Roast pig? Roast pig, yes, sir. Well, would Mr. Ramsey eat that pig? He ate my soul. Yes. We have got to find him quickly. How would you feel if your soul was in someone else's body? I'm sure I don't know. How does it feel? Oh, brother, please don't crack no funny joke. We got to find Mr. Ramsey. Mr. Ramsey has gone to the police station. He said he was going to do something about those drums. Then we will have to see Miss Isabel at once. Come on. Hello, Pan American. Reserve me a seat on the Pan American, please, in the morning. That's right, Ramsey. Yeah, thank you. Goodbye. Wait a minute, Ramsey. Where do you think you're going? Since when do I answer to you? Well, there's something phony going on around here. First of all, I can't find Sylvia, then I find you making plane reservations. I don't like it, Ramsey. So what? So this. This has been on my chest for a long time. Ramsey, I think you're a crook. I did, I wouldn't tell you. You'll tell me all right. I'll make you talk if I have to choke you half to death. Wait. I can't think anymore. Sylvia's with Isabel out at the witch's lace. Isabel's using a obi on her to make her leave the island. You're lying, Ramsey. What would Isabel be knowing about obi? Her mother was Haitian, wasn't she? Well, what's that got to do with it? Just because she's part Haitian doesn't make her a witch doctor. It's true, I tell you. Good God, man. Sylvia's her sister. Women will go to any lengths to get what they want. Anyway, Isabel will. I still think you're lying, Ramsey, but I'll go out there for fear something is wrong. And Sylvia may be needing me. I'll take care of you when I get back.
places of the jungle so that I may be armed by the mighty force of thy mystic power. Come wise ones, come forth omnipotent ones, come forth and dwell in the thoughts of these our people, here to pay thee homage, so that I, thy handmaiden and priestess of the secret circle, may be given the key to unlock the gateway on which death comes at thy call. Drawing powers of thy will and cause this woman who lies here before us to be the instrument of thy vengeance, that her sight become dim, so that her soul may be enclosed forever in the darkness of the black pit.
Well, what is this crazy nonsense? Wait. Don't come a step nearer if you want my sister to return to life. Oh, come now, Isabel. You're not asking me to believe that you're practicing obvious. Even your Haitian blood isn't capable of that. No? Then take a look at my sister and see if you still believe this is all in fun. Sylvia. Sylvia. Come out of it, Sylvia. I don't know what you have done to her, but undo it quickly or it'll be the worst for all of you. Well, do something. You know it is useless. No power on earth can liberate her but mine. I don't understand. Oh, it's all like a crazy nightmare. She's your sister. Oh, I can't believe it's anything but a stupid hoax of some kind. Please believe me, John. I'm in bed earnest. Very well. But why? What's Sylvia done that you've got to go to this extent to get even with her? Why, you'll drive her mad with all this hocus-pocus. Agree to never see Sylvia again. Send her back to New York and I'll bring back her sanity. Oh, you're joking. I was never more serious in all my life. Well, I'll do no such thing. And if you won't do anything about this, I will. This is your last chance. Do you agree to do as I say? No, you crazy fool. No. Very well. It's her funeral. Remember that. Seize it. Let her beauty become disfigured. Let the roundness of her limbs become flat, and the strength of her young body become parceled and old. Let the ice detect of our fingers, oh great one, cause the warm blood in her breast to become chilled. Let her pulse beat slower and slower. Let her breath become shorter and shorter. Dissolve the living flesh from her bones, oh great one, and transform her into the ghastly image of death. 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 Isabel, why don't you stop it? Release it. Well? All right. You win. Release Sylvia from whatever hypnotic power you have over her before you really do injure her. Even a sane person couldn't stand much more of this, and I can't stand by and watch her suffer any longer. I wonder which one of us is the greater fool. Don't let this go on any longer, Isabel. Oh, she's all right. I only did this for her own benefit, to scare so that she'd return to New York and never come back. She's only drugged. She'll be all right in a few moments. Where are you going? I got to go and find Mr. Ramsey. He's got my soul and I got to get it back quick. <laughs> Don't be silly. Hmm? That was all a joke. Miss Isabel isn't able to put your soul into a pig. She can't do you. Sure enough. Then all of that by them devils with a joke, too? <laughs> of course. Don't you have jokes in Harlem, Mr. Jackson? <laughs> I know that was a joke all the time. Then all right then, come on. Or Miss Isabel will get into a lot of trouble if the police should happen to get there before we do. Yeah? Sylvia, are you all right? John, what am I doing here? What has happened? Don't talk now. I'll explain later. Please, Miss Isabel. What is it, Elvira? That man, Ramsey, has gone to the police station. He's going to make trouble for you. He's going to tell the police that you have Obia here. I wouldn't worry about Ramsey if I were you. I phoned the police on the way out here to pick him up. But the police may come out here. And if they do, my people will get into trouble. Go home, all of you. And remember, we were only having a little poker mania. But I don't understand. What has Philip done? I caught him stealing from your safe, Sylvia. He was preparing to leave the island. You know all about him, don't you, Isabel? He's right, Sylvia. The man's absolutely no good. He only pretended to love you because he wanted your plantation. Oh, John, I'm so sorry. I've been such a fool. I don't suppose you could ever find it in your heart to forgive me. Now, don't be silly. I love you. Don't you want to know if I love you? Do you? I'm afraid I do. I guess it's been that way from the beginning. Only I was such a nitwit, I didn't know it. I'll be seeing you sometime. Wait, Isabel, wait a minute. Now, can't we forget all this? Let's pretend it never happened. I don't see why we can't all be friends. 
I'm afraid you're asking too much. That's all I've done. No, Isabel, it isn't. Jackson, tell the cook that my husband and I will be dining with Miss Isabel from her plantation tomorrow night. Sylvia. And don't forget what we're having for dinner, Jackson. Roast pigs, sir. 